guys, I'm Caitlin and this is Book Chats and I'm going to do something that I haven't really done in a year and I, in this format, have never really done before and that is a wrap up for the first quarter of 2017, the books that I read, but instead of going through every single book that I read on video and telling you my thoughts and telling you like mini reviews, which is way, way too long, I am going to just tell you kind of the general genres I was reading and the age groups that those were aimed at and that I will put in the description all of the titles that I have read so far in 2017, so in quarter one, 2017, all the titles I have finished, because one book I primarily read last year and just finished it on the first day of January, you can like look more in depth at my thoughts there and below. But this video is really, uh, the purpose of it I realized, so last year I stopped doing wrap ups because while I was editing them, I was bored. And I thought if I am bored while I'm editing, there's no way my audience is interested in these videos. So I stopped making them because why make videos that bore me? And I, I felt really good about it. I felt good about my decision to stop making wrap ups. But recently I realized when I was watching wrap ups that one of the functions of a wrap up is to kind of give me an idea of what the people I watch on booktube are reading, what I can discuss with them, what they might have that they haven't put a full video out about or mentioned in another format, but they still read and they have ideas and thoughts on and we can discuss together. And so I realized, especially when I was looking at what I've been reading this quarter, that there's a ton that I've been reading that unless you've like stalked me on Goodreads, you wouldn't know. You would literally not know from my content on this channel, A, how much I've been reading, although maybe the lack of content on this channel will tell you that. And B, what genres I've been reading in, because if you just base your knowledge of what I'm reading off my channel, you probably think I only read YA debuts. But that's because I prioritize videos about those books, but I really, really don't only read that. And so I'm just gonna really quick give you guys a rundown. And I, I have filmed this video literally twice, and I like the first two times, you like gave numbers and all this stuff, but you know what? I'm just gonna summarize it because obviously there's a reason this didn't work the first two times I tried to film it. The summary is, that about a third of the books that I read in quarter one of 2017 were genre romance. When I say genre romance, I mean books that have a hero and a heroine and happily ever after. That was about a third of the books that I read in quarter one of 2017. Then the next highest, about a third, just one fewer books that I read was sci-fi and fantasy kind of lumped, I lumped them together. Uh, and I do want to make a note here that about half of those were from the same series and that series does have a heavy romantic element to it. So they sort of still fit under the romance, but they weren't genre romance because they didn't have that hero, heroine, happily ever after format. And so yeah, that's what I was reading. Then everything else is sort of, the last third is sort of split up between four categories. Contemporary was the highest. I read probably a sixth of the books that I read in the quarter were contemporary. And then um, just a little bit less were historical. And then one or two were comic books and nonfiction. And the nonfiction was actually like one little booklet. And I realized that that's format, not genre, but I was lazy when I was writing this out, okay? Uh, and then like what ages were these aimed at? Three quarters of the books that I read in quarter one were written for adults. I know, shocker, I am an adult. I do read adult books, but somehow I don't talk about them that much on my channel. So maybe I need to do that more. But about three quarters of the books that I read, uh, part of that is because genre romance guys, that's all, that's all for adults. And I read a lot of them. <laughs> but part of it is just what I was reading in general. Almost that entire last quarter were young adult novels that I read because I do read young adult. I do enjoy young adult and they are pretty fast reads, just like genre romance is pretty fast read. When you read as many books as I did in quarter one and you're not a very fast reader, it means that you're reading fast books. So, uh, and then I read one middle grade book and one new adult book, loved the middle grade book, really did not like the new adult book. So that's basically just to give you a really like quick summary, like what is she reading? And then remember down below, I will put links to actual titles of all the books that I read and hopefully links to uh, my reviews if I reviewed them on Goodreads or just to Goodreads in general, if I didn't review them on Goodreads. I just wanted to let you guys know like, wow, there is stuff she is reading that doesn't make it to her channel. And I wanted to let you like, have I wanted an opportunity for you to let me know if you would like to see me make videos about some of these things that I'm reading but not make videos about, like please let me know. Anyway, I'm gonna really quick wrap this up there because I have to get to work, but thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.